is this all society that responds to graffiti and expression in that way or is it individuals like what mm. fuels you know criminalizing expression and then what do we do as as people when we don't have a format to express who we are and it's not encouraged there is this practice in street art or graffiti writing you're going to in some way acknowledge who i am visually you know from me putting my name on it because you're not acknowledging my presence and not considering my my situation my living conditions what's happened to my people who i represent so interesting to me how society and particularly in america because this is part of again my history like i've been living for 50 years this is what has happened in america our voice one <laughs> you know we got to express we got to cause hell we got to interrupt <laughs> to be heard, mm -hmm. you know, or be seen in some way, you know, and there have been times in our history where that's criminalized. We're locked up for expressing ourselves, you know, but I want to tap in also to the difference between in the black community, like a Latina community or, or other communities where, you know, it's encouraged to create and express yourself a little bit more you know, there's a different twist on it in the black community. Is it safe? Is it valuable? There's so many different aspects, you know, that come mm -hmm. into our experiences as particularly black people. 